Good morning on a Tuesday morning, March 31st. It's the last day of our month. Yesterday was Monday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday in a new month, April. And tomorrow is April 1st, which is April Fool's Day. So be careful tomorrow. Don't be fooled. It's a day of playing tricks. We're going to continue on with spring. And we talked a little bit about spring being our new season. And what does that mean? Well, the days are getting longer, the weather is getting warmer, it's, it's rainy a lot, it still can snow, but we'll start to see changes ever so slowly. We'll start to see plants begin to sprout, uh, maybe new flowers growing. The daffodils are typically the first flowers we see in Park City. <clears throat> Babies are born, a lot of um, birds are laying their eggs and the eggs will hatch. Babies on the farms are born, like baby cows, sheep will have their lambs. And it's also a time when the insects start to hatch. And we'll talk about the life cycle of our butterfly, where it starts out as a caterpillar, and then it eats away and builds a cocoon, and then it turns into a beautiful butterfly. Remember what that's called? Metamorphosis. We'll talk more about that later in the week. Um, <clears throat> let's talk about this handout I, I gave to you. You should have had this in your packet, okay? And what to wear in spring. It's kind of a funny time where it can be kind of warm, but rainy, or it can even snow. But look at this boy, what should he wear? So I think he's getting ready for the rain, right? It's raining, it's pouring. Is this boy dressed for rainy weather. Well, let's see. He has some shorts on. He has some snorkel and a mask. That's kind of a funny thing to wear. He has a scarf, just in case it gets cold. He has gloves. And he has a swim shirt, so he's not afraid to get wet. And he's preparing to keep himself warm. But what should you wear in different seasons, right? Dress for spring weather. Circle what you would wear in the weather. So let's start with this weather. Okay, what, what's happening? Is it raining? That's rainy weather. So look around. Would you wear ice skates in this kind of weather? Maybe a rain jacket, rain boots? What about this? What kind of day is this? Looks like the kids are all in shorts. Would they need a ski parka? Probably not. Oh, it looks like it's windy. Would you need flip-flops? A sweater, snow boots. Mm. And what about this? Would you wear a tank top in this kind of weather? <clears throat> so here we are. Emily and her friends wanted to play outside, but now it's raining out, and they have to stay inside. They feel disappointed. What should they do? What would you do on a rainy day? I know it's fun to get out and play in the snow, but the rain's a little bit different because you get wet. So think about what would you do? Well, one thing you could do is color this umbrella, a color by number umbrella. All right, find the number and then the color of crown that you're going to color your umbrella. <clears throat> We're going to do a little activity. We're going to do naming words. Okay, so I want you to think about what would go with all of these naming words. So I'm going to say I'm talking about an egg, a nest, bird, fly. Hmm, am I talking about maybe magpies, maybe chickadees? They all go together, all those naming words. I'm describing things that birds do. How about a leaf, tree, bush, plant? Could I add flower to those naming words? I could. How about frog, tadpole, froglet, Pond. What other word could we add? Lily pad, log. So one of your activities, I want you to play I spy at home. And when you think about your objects that you spy, I want you to really think about naming words. So for example, I'm thinking of something that's red, it's round, full of air, Shiny, smooth, pops. What 
am I thinking of? Did you say balloon? You're right, I'm thinking of a balloon. So when you choose an object, be as specific as you can with how you're going to describe it, okay? Let's see what else we, I have. Okay, rhyming words. I sent an activity for you to illustrate. It is my umbrella poem. And I want you to find the rhyming words in that poem, or you can make up some of your own, or you can make up an entirely different poem. But I want you to illustrate it to me, and I would love to see it. Okay, so uh, for your movement activity, why don't you do relays in, in your house? I'm sure your parents would love this. Run back and forth, pass the ball, carry it maybe in your chin, maybe pass it behind your back, over your head, as fast as you can, okay? And get those bodies moving. So I'm gonna close by singing a song for you. It's a song about the weather. <laughs> I hear thunder, I hear thunder, hark don't you, hark don't you, pitter patter raindrops, pitter patter raindrops, I'm wet through, so are you, put your coat on and your boots on, hurry now, hurry now, put up your umbrella, put up your umbrella, you're all dry. So am I. And Frida likes it when I sing too. Have a great day and have fun with all of your activities today.